Welcome to the company presentation at Commodity TV. Bluestone Resources is a Canadian emerging producer bringing their Cerro Blanco mine in Guatemala into production. The company is listed on the TSX Venture under the symbol BSR. They have around 63.8 million shares outstanding and on a fully diluted basis 75 million shares. Larger shareholders are the London Family Trust with 36%, CD Capital with 12%, Gold Corp with 5% and other institutions with 21%. The company's Cerro Blanco mine project is permitted with an exploitation mining license with underground mining activities occurring and they have a resource of 1.2 million ounces at a plus 10 gram grade gold per ton in the indicated category. The estimated AIC shall be at 490 US dollars per ounce gold only with an initial capex of 171 million US dollars. The infrastructure is fantastic and over 230 million US dollars have been spent to date on the project including 60 million US dollars on the geothermal project. The geothermal power project is of high interest for Bluestone as it gives the company a competitive advantage regarding power supply for the mine and generating additional revenues from the sale of excess power. They have a 50-year license for 50 megawatts annual production and 19 geothermal wells are in place. Let's have a look on the project Cerro Blanco. It is 160 kilometers by road east southeast of Guatemala City located and in 2.5 hours drive easy accessible. As well, it is connected with the Pan American Highway as the mine site is only 7 kilometers away from the highway. The nearest town is Asuncion Mita with a population of 15,000 people, which will provide labor force too. Bluestone does not need to relocate nor has to do a land resettlement for the project. The population is ethnically mestizo, which means European and non-indigenous. Natural resources account for 15% of Guatemala's export and is in high favor from the state. The Cerro Blanco mine has a 9-year initial mine life with an average production of 105,000 ounces gold life of mine. The after-tax IRR is at very healthy 43% and the payback is only 1.8 years. The production goal is to achieve 140,000 ounces per year through aggressive future exploration, which would lift again significantly the economics. So far, the drill results from the 11,000 meter drill program show continued good results. The significant exploration potential in the larger district is fantastic as the current resource is confined only to a 400 meter by 800 meter area. Highly prospective targets show up one kilometers north of the main deposit and are underexplored to date. Gold bearing structures extend at least two kilometers northwest and one kilometer south of the deposit, so the resources are wide open at depths. Cerro Blanco is a high quality asset when compared to the peers. They have one of the highest grades with plus 10 grams gold per ton, generate robust after tax IRR with low capital intensity and one of the lowest life of mine average AISC profiles at 490 US dollars per ounce. Some drivers will be the new resource estimating Q3 2018, as well as the geothermal well flow testing and further, hopefully good exploration drill results. In Q4 2018, we await the feasibility study to be finished and, in, and then in 2019, the mine financing and the start of the construction. The gold silver production is scheduled for late 2020. The company has a NSR of 1% to Gold Corp on their production. Another advantage is the backing through the Landin family and the top shareholders, which we think makes this project financeable and doable, of course. We keep you posted. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.